Good morning. It's Good News Friday. I have good news from the United States. First, this Rudy Giuliani left the hospital. Yeah, I'm happy about this because I really like the guy. You know, he got sick and now he's better. It's great. And I know this is big. You can smell it. The uh, state of Texas filed a lawsuit at the Supreme Court. The defendants are Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia and Pennsylvania. And it was backed by, I think, 18 other states. These states joined the case. Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina and Utah. Yeah, it is huge. I read the New York Times, you see, yeah. I usually do when I want to see the reactions. New York Times is fantastic. It's the most globalist paper you can wish for. Yeah, so this is what they said. Uh, this represents the most coordinated politicized attempt to overturn the will of the voters in recent American history. <laughs> yeah, they are funny. Yeah, it's New York Times or the BBC, usually. They are fantastic. And then 22 states sided with the defendants. So now people are talking about a civil war, as if this was a case of states against states. <laughs> That's not true at all, is it? It's more like the establishment against the truth, yeah, or the establishment against Trump supporters. Of course, there's lots of Trump supporters in all these states who now back the defendants. Well, people have been asleep. Maybe this is exactly what the United States needed. People are now waking up. You can see it. Yeah. I love it. Also here in Sweden, people have been asleep and now they are waking up. Yeah, they are really waking up. People are getting pissed off. I see it all, all the time. Uh, now the Swedish government, they want a new law so that they can restrict people. And people react to this. Yeah. Now Denmark is different. You know, in Denmark, the socialist government decided to close the country down now. This is a terrible idea. The Danish, they are different. Yeah, I know the Danish. They are bastards. Yeah. They will not like it. And they act differently in Denmark. Yes, we see protests also here in Sweden. But uh, there's more like talking, you see. People talk in Sweden, yeah. Denmark is different. Yeah, it's a terrible idea to close Denmark down. They closed it down because they got some new cases. Some people were infected. Uh, let's close it down. Yeah. People are getting pissed off. Yes. So I say just bring it on. People have been asleep. People need to wake up and now they are. So just do your thing. You know, that's what I say. With your censorship, silencing people, yeah, idiots. Right, uh, finally I have a great story. This is from Sweden. I mentioned it earlier. Uh, it's about these two guys who were raped and tortured for nine hours uh, in the cemetery in Stockholm. Yeah, it was terrible. The establishment, they wanted to forget the whole thing, it seemed. Yeah. Media, they didn't write about these guys, you see. They were more interested in the perpetrators. Yeah. They were very interested in the perpetrators, actually. Yeah, they became like celebrities. It's true. Now, these two guys, 16 years old, who were raped and tortured for nine hours, uh, there's this politician, his name is Hanif Bali. He's one of my favorites. He, he's got lots of follow followers. Yeah, people really like him. So he started a fundraiser and he raised $200,000. So 
So these two guys, 16 years old, who were raped and tortured for nine hours, they get $100,000 each. Now there's a very important detail here. The followers of Hanif Bali, they are considered very, very bad people. Yeah. I'm one of them. Very bad people. Uh, these are the people who raised the money. This money came from nowhere else. But these very bad people, yeah. So they pitched in and sent these guys $200,000. Right. Now, no lefty did this. Of course not. Uh, it is more likely that the lefty parties or some politicians, stupid feminist politician on the left, would raise the money for the perpetrators because these poor guys are going to prison. That would be more likely, yeah. So I love this. You know, I wouldn't mind Hanif Bali to be the PM of Sweden. Yeah, I would support him. Uh, there's another guy that I really want to see as the PM of Sweden. His name is Leif Östling. Yeah. So if you listen to this, Leif, yeah, I will support you. Yeah, I will vote for you. Absolutely. And I will tell people about it. Yeah, Leif Östling, he, Östling, he's a great guy. Yeah. He comes from business. Yes. And he's uh, he's got balls. He speaks up. Yeah, fantastic guy. So that's what I want. Hanif Bali or Leif Östling. Alright, be good. I wish you a great weekend.